हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट हाइपोथर्मिया और कोल्ड स्ट्रेस इन न्यू बॉन्स हाइपोथर्मिया इज डिफाइंड बाय द डब्ल्यू एच एज ए कोल्ड टेम्परेचर ऑफ लेस देन 36.5 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड नॉर्मल स्किन टेम्परेचर इन द न्यू इज 36 टू 36.5 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड नॉर्मल कोर दैट इज रेक्टल टेम्परेचर इज थर्टी टू थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड Now, axillary temperature may be 0.5 to 1 degree centigrade lower. Now, chance of survival of the neonate is markedly enhanced by successful prevention of the excessive heat loss. For this purpose, a newborn must be kept under a neutral thermal environment. This is defined as environmental temperature at which heat production and oxygen consumption is minimal, yet core body temperature is maintained within normal range. Now term newborn has brown fat as a source for thermogenesis it is a highly vascularized tissue and is innervated by sympathetic neurons when these infants face cold stress nor adrenaline level increases and act in the brown fat tissue to stimulate lipolysis and this produce free fatty acids most of the free fatty acids are reesterified or oxidized and both these reaction produce heat now hypoxia or beta adrenergic blockage decreases this response now the mechanism of heat loss in the newborns first is radiation it is a heat loss from the infant that is the warm object to a colder nearby object second is conduction it is a direct heat loss from the infant to the surface with which he is in direct contact third is convection a flow of cooler ambient air carries the heat away from the neonate then fourth is evaporation heat may be lost by water evaporation from the skin of the infant this especially occur immediately after delivery when the infant is wet with amniotic fluid now the etiology of hypothermia in neonates it may be caused by environmental factors disorders that impair thermoregulation for example sepsis intracranial hemorrhage drug withdrawal or combination of these Now the risk factor for hypothermia first is the prematurity preterm infants are predisposed to heat loss because they have little subcutaneous fat a high ratio of surface area to body weight and reduced glycogen and brown fat stores they have immature shivering and vasoconstriction mechanism in response to cold stress they often require resuscitation which require exposure for assessment and this result in cold stress Second is IUGR they have relatively large surface area to body ratio and lack of subcutaneous fat third is birth asphyxia these newborns have poor peripheral circulation and become hypothermic especially if prolonged resuscitation is required then is the delivery in an area with an environmental temperature below the recommended levels maternal hypertension and cesarean delivery are also risk factor for hypothermia in newborns Now the signs and symptoms of hypothermia infant is cold to touch has weak sucking and cry and has less activity there may be slow irregular breathing slow heart rate that is bradycardia cyanosis sclerema or generalized bleeding cyanosis is a blue discoloration of the skin due to circulation of blood low in oxygen and sclerema is a condition in which body tissue hardens especially those of the fatty layer just under the skin now the complications of hypothermia in neonates these include hypoglycemia metabolic acidosis hypoxia clotting disorders such as dic disseminated intravascular coagulation and pulmonary hemorrhage shock decreased perfusion intraventricular hemorrhage apnea severe sinus bradycardia and increased neonatal mortality now the management of neonatal hypothermia Prevention is the best management and remove the precipitating factors. For full terms, ensure a temperature of 25 to 28 degree centigrade in the delivery room. Now, delivery and operating rooms where preterm infants are going to be delivered should have a temperature of 23 to 25 degree centigrade. At the time of birth, babies should be immediately dried and then swaddled in a warm blanket. A preterm infant can be placed into a polyethylene bag immediately after delivery and this help to maintain the infant's temperature. 
Now, a new net exposed for resuscitation or observation should be placed under a radiant warmer without anything blocking heat to the infant such as a blanket. Sick new nets should be maintained in a neutral thermal environment to minimize the metabolic rate. The proper incubator temperature varies depend on the newborn's birth weight and postnatal age and also the humidity in the incubator. Heating can also be adjusted with a servo mechanism set to maintain skin temperature at 36.5 degrees centigrade. Now in hypothermic neonate, slow rewarming is indicated, rewarm at a rate of 0 0.6 to 1 degree centigrade per hour. During rewarming, skin temperature should not be more than 1 degree centigrade warmer than the coexisting rectal temperature. Full term infant can be rewarmed under a radiant warmer, but preterm may require an incubator. The newborn should be monitored and treated as needed for hypoglycemia, hypoxemia, and apnea. Underlying conditions such as sepsis, drug withdrawal, or intracranial hemorrhage may require specific treatment. Okay, friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health videos.